everybody. It is time for another Study with Mac. I'm so excited to be back with you. It is March. It is National Women's History Month. So today, I want to start dealing with a devotional influencer, Finding Truths in Trends. This devotional was actually written by the Minority Christian Women Entrepreneurship Network. And I thought it pertinent to kind of deal with this topic because we as women in the year 2021 wear a whole, whole lot of hats. We're moving, we're shaking, we're doing really big things. I myself am working to build my own empire and deal in the world of being an influencer, but I want to be a godly influencer. I want to be a positive influence on the world and for the work that I'm doing here to be reflective of Christ in a good way. So this devotional, Influencer Finding Truths in the Trends, seeks to deal with what does it mean to be a godly influencer. It says, we live in a society where performance and optics are more valuable than character and depth. Thankfully, God called, qualified, and justified us without us having to perform for him, which is a whole word in and of itself. So Andrina Sawyer, the founder of the Minority Christian Women Entrepreneurs Network, put this study together for those who want to get out of the performance trap and to make a genuine Christ-centered impact in the world. So if this sounds like you, cause it sounds like me, stay tuned. So day one of this plan deals with the topic, avoiding the performance trap. Man, if you are anywhere in the Instagram or the Facebook world, we always talk about how you mainly see people's representatives. We see what you know, people want us to see about themselves and it can be easy to get into this trap of performing, you know, for other people and what we think they want to see. So day one, avoiding the performance trap is going to deal with that. So the first thing I like to do is read the scriptures associated with it. So we have three today. The first one is Romans 8 verses 29 through 30. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he also called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. So this is... Um, Paul's encouragement here in this letter, Romans. And then the next verse also, um, Colossians verses one, not verse one, chapter one, verses 21 through 22. And you who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him. And then lastly, 2 Corinthians verse chapter 3, verses 4 through 6, such is the confidence that we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency is from God, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Okay, so let's go back and get into the actual devotional reading. We live in a society where performance is becoming more valuable than character and depth. The addiction to perfect optics is so prevalent that rarely do some people post images on social media without first adding a filter to it. 
While most of us want to appear to have minimal blemishes, the danger is that we can begin to apply filters to other areas of our lives. Ain't it the truth? Desiring a great image is not a bad thing, especially if you are a purpose-driven person. Between hustling to find the next big thing, managing expectations and relationships, and maintaining a healthy work-life balance, life can feel like we're chasing the wind, and reality may seem bleak compared to perfectly curated content. This is an area that I deal with as you know a lot of us do um I am a purpose driven person and I am trying to maintain and manage expectations relationships and maintain a healthy work life balance and it is it's very difficult sometimes to look at the way things really are versus what they would I would like them to be I know I feel a lot of pressure in terms of not just you know doing the whole blog and YouTube thing I feel it a lot as a young pastor's wife there are so many <laughs> expectations that people put upon you and sometimes expectations that you put upon yourself of, of what you should be and what it's safe to be so it can be real difficult Despite this, the truth is that God does not expect us to look or be perfect. In fact, our imperfections is where we see his redemptive power best. The performance or filter trap attempts to usurp God's power by taking the work of redeeming our blemishes away from him. Wow. Our efforts say that we think what God has given us to work with is not quite right and that if we work hard, we can curate perfection apart from him. However, according to Colossians verse, uh, chapter 1 verse 22, the deep work of completion can only be done by a sovereign God. So let's go back and look at that right quick while it has been mentioned here in the passage so we read that and you who were once who once were alienated and hostile in mind doing evil deeds he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him basically we spend so much time with our little brush tool trying to flush out the blemishes and the things we find imperfect in ourselves. But we have to remember that it is God who perfects. It is God who removes the blemishes and the imperfections. And we have to allow him to do that work that he does um, so very well. And then the passage says through him we are free from the performance trap because grace qualifies us regardless of the optics of our reality it does not matter who you are and where you are in life god himself has called equipped and justified you to do the work you are doing and he did so without you having to perform for him and what there's a comfort in that um, that last section refers back to Romans 8, 29 and 30 that we referred to. Um, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called, which is very important. This is another one of Paul's letters in terms of being called it's really not an option we have been basically summoned to do this work that we do um it's easy to shrink back and look at yourself and have the whole imposter syndrome that you can't do it and that it's not for you but you have been called to do this and those whom he called he also justified he made you right in it and those he justified he also glorified 
So I say this to say we are sufficient to do the work we have been called to do because of God and our sufficiency comes from him. There's a saying that says God does not just call the qualified. He qualifies the call. So just know that wherever you are, if you are committed to Christ, you are committed to his calls and his call in your life to do what he has asked of you. Just know that you are sufficient. Don't get caught up in the trap of trying to perform for other people. Um, And I'm talking to myself to become what they want you to become, to paint this facade, which is a very popular thing right now be who he made you to be the only person you first should satisfy is god and the rest will come because he's already called you justified you and glorified you so with that being said that was basically day one of our devotional influencer finding truth in the trends day two of our devotional is going to deal with the topic growing admiration so if you would like to follow along i'll drop a link in the description bar of the you version link it'll be bible.com on a pc but it's available in the you version bible app as well where you can follow along with me And you can also drop your comments there or you can drop your comments here. I would love to hear your thoughts and your your insights about our devotional. And I will see you right back here tomorrow for Influencer Finding Truths in the Trends.